absolutely gorgeous and the Mersey was like a sheet of glass it was absolutely smooth wonderful so here we are this is as I said the booking office for Mersey ferries really worth doing fantastic the ferries are um, very reasonably priced and it's a round trip so you jump on the actually where I came up off our ship that's where you catch the ferry and it goes in a triangle tour back to the same place you can get a cup of tea on there there's a little restaurant and on the way back they play ferry across the Mersey by Jerry and the pacemakers which kind of makes it very nice and authentic statue there to Edward the seventh Not quite sure why they put Edward the Seventh there, but obviously it was a, a tribute to a king. Many battles in Liverpool over the over the years between Parliament and the monarchy. Upstairs in that booking office, there's um, a Beatles exhibition. Obviously, a very popular, big attraction in Liverpool. The huge big um, Beatles exhibition is actually behind the Albert Dock, um, which I went to last year and it's really worth doing as well. Fantastic um, history of the Beatles from the very beginnings right up until the end, until John Lennon's death really. Um, and again that's worth doing and, and if you do come to Liverpool try to go there and also to the Cavern Club which everyone sort of heads to at one stage or another um, where the cavern has been reconstructed unfortunately the original cavern was taken down in the 1960s I think or 70s rather but we built um, with the original bricks which was quite a good thing and the atmosphere in there is really electric and buzzing and you really get the feel of how it must have been back in the 60s. Very impressive building. Of course, Liverpool has a history for imports and exports um, of huge numbers of um, different types of cargo sugar, tobacco, flour, grain, cotton, you name it. But one of the biggest, unfortunately, which they, you know, they don't hide, they're just, it's just part of history, was slave trade. And in fact, in the Albert Dock, which is in front of us now, the Red Brick area, there's a huge exhibition about the uh, slave trade history. Not in this building, but this building is a brand new building as well, the Museum of Liverpool, also known as the Echo Marina, uh, sorry, Echo Arena, not Marina. Um, and they have huge um, concerts in there. And the last big one apparently was Paul McCartney, and that was back just before Christmas. zoom in on that building there. That building there um, is the original offices of White Star Line. White Star of course being the owners of Titanic and that's where um, the decision to build Titanic was made. So it was commissioned and the contract was of course given to Harland and Wolf in Belfast where we're heading tomorrow. That building for those who are familiar with the one at work um, designed by Norman Shaw is the Norman Shaw North and South buildings which was the original London Scotland Yard so the original Scotland Yard looks identical to that in design and, and colour and of course it was the same person who built it so we're just going to head back down now towards the Elbert Dock all these buildings here this black Slate and glass building is brand new. It's going to be a multi-complex of 
offices and shops and flats apparently. You'll see that, that building in the middle at the Red Brick building, that used to be a warehouse but just above that, behind it, the Tara, that's the Anglian, Angl Anglican Cathedral. Um, which is absolutely magnificent. We went there this morning and the inside of that building is uh, astonishing, it's beautiful. 300 feet tall, it's the tallest um, Anglian, Angl I can't say the word, cathedral. Um, I, think the tour, I think the tour guide said in Europe and if she didn't say the word I couldn't, I couldn't actually remember. Um, but it's absolutely huge and very very impressive. Free to get in, definitely worth a visit. Some sculptures along here, not sure what they are but they're sort of, um, they had similar ones in London. Elephants and pandas. I've seen them all over town actually, they're obviously the same sort of idea. Here's, uh, oh you can see much, see much more of the um, cathedral there, of the Ang Ang Anglian cathedral. <laughs> Anglican? I, can, I can't say the word but I'm sure you know what I mean. Bit of a dry dock there. <laughs> Great Western Railways look, that's a very old building not used by the railway anymore but probably was at once upon a time when the docks were thriving. Lots of work going on here because it's all been fenced off. So we probably have to go around the front of this building but there's the Albert docks look. We'll head over in that direction. You might be able to make out the ferris wheel there behind the Albert dock. Not sure how big that is or if it's as big as a London Eye, probably not but it's quite impressive. And right next to that um, Ferris wheel is the Beatles Story exhibition which I went to last year. Really um, worth doing. Again, got views of the Mersey here. You can see a Mersey ferry coming in now. Let's just go in and see that. Coming in behind our ship there. Great fun, do try and do that if you're in Liverpool. It's a, it's a must really. See the tides out, it's quite um, gone out quite far. It's uh, really muddy. One thing I'm really impressed with, impressed with about Liverpool in everywhere I look, including the river, even when the tide out, is how clean it is. If you walk along the side of the Thames, particularly when the tide's out, there's rubbish floating everywhere. Don't get that here. It's, you probably can't hear the music being played. And up she rises early in the morning. That's the Mersey Ferry. It's just probably come back from um, the Wirral, Birkenhead. Anyway, we'll continue over here towards the Albert Dock. Some really old harbour buildings here. One that I'm coming to up here in front of the um, that Albert Dock building there, which was obviously once warehouses um, where boats came and unloaded. That building in front of the chimneys was a residence of the pier master and you can still go into that building. It's not been touched since the Second World War and it's now an exhibition. During the Second World War the Albert Dock was used um, for warships. Americans predominantly used the Albert Dock their warships came here and moored into the Albert Dock which of course was heavily bombed in the Second World War. Nice statue there, but a Shire Horse. I'm not sure of the connection, but I obviously was back in the days of the docks. I 
walking into one of the docks here and in behind those buildings there um, it's Liverpool One which is a massive big brand new modern shopping centre with every shop you could ever imagine there. I went there this morning actually, spent far too much money but it um, has to be done. Quite a big tour party here so we'll just hold on before we move on. When I was here last year, I think it was the year before, they had a massive big um, mechanical spider climbing up on all the skyscrapers. Well, apparently in, in April, April the 20th this year, 2012, they're going to have another um, similar exhibition, but this time it's going to be a massive um, model of a little girl, a young girl, and she's going to appear in various places around the city. Um, starting up in Sefton Park and all that is to do with um, the Titanic and the story behind it is that um, a young girl wrote letters to her father who was on the Titanic and of course the father never returned because he drowned with the Titanic and it was uh, one of those sad stories but it was one 